To see how audio and video will appear to your audience, you can preview it in the slideshow. Before playing the slideshow, let's move the video to the second slide. We'll right-click and cut the video from the first slide, and then right-click and paste it on the second slide. Notice that PowerPoint keeps all of the formatting and playback options we set in the last lesson. Now I'll click the Slideshow tab and play the slideshow from the start. Notice that when the slideshow begins, the audio icon is hidden and the music begins playing automatically. When I advance to the next slide, the video begins playing automatically and music continues playing because we set it to play across slides. When the audio clip ends, it automatically starts again because we set it to loop. And it continues playing on the third and final slide and finally stops once we end the presentation. After you watch a slideshow, you can make any necessary changes to the playback settings and preview it again until it plays the way you want it to. In the last lesson, we'll look at some different options and tips for saving presentations that contain audio and video.